case for you today. Um, this gentleman had his ingrown toenail removed a couple months ago and the procedure went pretty well and then he experienced a lot of drainage after. Um, he said, we're a little unsure if there was chemical applied or not. He said there was a stick and something was put in and in after the nail was removed. So that kind of sounds to me like what we normally do mm -hmm. um, to put the chemical on. But as you can see here, it's starting to regrow. And then look at this. Two weeks after the procedure is whenever he noticed all this darkening. Um, the reason I wanted to film this today is because there's always risk for melanoma. Given what's happened, I'm really leaning towards it's just a lot of bleeding underneath the nail. Nothing to be worried about other than it's unsightly. Right. It will grow out. <laughs> Probably take you close to eight months for it to completely grow out. Um, but what I told him we're going to do is I'm actually going to numb up the whole toe, get that little piece out, and then I'm going to inspect this part of the nail, and we can kind of take a look at what's under there. Um, the As much drainage as you had, you said it drained for how long? Maybe um, a week to two weeks. And a lot of drainage a on the bandage. Drainage, yes. Okay. And it was not infected um, when the procedure was done. And so we're kind of surprised to have this type of outcome. That's definitely not normal mm -hmm. for an ingrown toenail, but you know, things can happen. I just don't know the, what, what yeah. happened in your case, but I'm really thinking that the discoloration is from that, but we'll just make sure. And I can also send the nail um, off to the lab before, but we're gonna numb it up because it, it looks like something's just not right here. Then um, I will go ahead and remove the whole nail plate, send that and then biopsy the nail bed as well. Okay. But given it was um, just had an ingrown toenail procedure, um, any allergies to numbing medicines? Uh, not that I'm aware no? of. Okay. So this is the fun stuff. Cold spray, then we'll be seeing. Right. You just went through this, so. And you said it wasn't, the procedure went well. Yeah, it wasn't bad. This was the worst part. I think. Yeah, it's it is the worst part. Okay, so. Okay. Quick little stick. Quick little stick. Um, did you go back and tell him what it looked like or call the nurse or anything? I called and I actually set up an appointment with him and uh -huh. I just got busy and didn't, yeah. didn't make it. So I understand. But we do a lot of ingrown toenails um, here. That's our YouTube viewers love it. Mm -hmm. I would highly encourage you if you're watching this and you're concerned about any type of discoloration, especially this kind of dark black, dark brown, and if it pops up all of a sudden, you know, and you've not had anything done, um, please see your nearest dermatologist, podiatrist, primary care physician, someone, last one, to have it looked at, just to um, err on the safe side of things, because you know, people lose their toes for melanoma. Yeah. It's lose their feet, lose their life. And unfortunately we do see them in between the toes and they can just be like little, look like little moles. Really? But you're kind of like, your gut's like, hmm, that doesn't look right. Yeah. So we biopsy it, it's very easy to do. It's five minutes. Um, all right guys, so we're gonna take a break just to get everything set up and then we're gonna go see what is in there. But it's clear that there's a nail that's uh, growing back. And that's about the normal timeline. If you yeah. do have pain from the ingrown mm -hmm. toenail after having it removed, usually about two to three months mm -hmm. is because we're looking at that two millimeters is approximately equal to the growth for two months. So a millimeter a month, so you're kind of right in the timeline there, but it's not infected, I'm really happy. Um, but I can see there's already drainage that's starting to crust yeah. up in that corner. Also could be from the procedure itself from the last time, mm -hmm. um, the drainage and kind of the body is still trying to put some dead skin in there. All right, guys, well, we'll be right back. We'll take a look. We're back. So when we actually stopped filming, you told me something that was so important. This gentleman works at Toyota, and how many days after the procedure did you go back to work? When did you go back? That day. That day. Yeah. In steel toe boots. Right. So what was happening, he was probably, because it was nice and numb, you weren't feeling it, um, you were banging up the toe. And the bandage was probably a little bulkier that day than you know your Band-Aid and normal stuff like that. So I think the trauma from that disrupted the nail plate here. And when that happens, you get bleeding underneath the nail like he's experienced. That's likely why you've got this outcome. Because I always recommend the day of that you go home, kick it up in the air, give it you know at least 24 hours until all the numbing's worn off. Should be about eight hours. 
um, until you really feel it. So if you are doing something to the toe, you know, oops, I can't do that. <laughs> so you know to stop. So I think that's why we're in this situation, just set heads up. All right, so let's make sure you're nice and numb. That's even better, because you know we were, of course, talking about melanomas. Any pain in here? Mm, little down bottom there. Here? Oh, on down. Closer to you? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay, let's Good. put a little more anesthetic in. Just a little more. You probably won't feel much of this. I'm take alcohol swab too. I need that. Good. Okay, get the bubble out. The air out. Thank you. Stuff. Let me know if you feel any of that. Anything at all? Mm -hmm. One more down the side here. Still good? Yep. All right, I'll give that a few minutes. To 30 seconds or so to come up. Massage it in there for you. So, do you have plans today? I'm supposed to work. Can so. I give you an excuse so that it doesn't look like this again? You're, yeah. You work at Toyota and you're working this week? Uh, so today would be my last day for the weekend, before the weekend. We worked yesterday. Okay. So we were off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Gotcha. I didn't know what the If shot. I could get off today, then it would probably be good, but it's like, they're really good. Really Okay. So. Unfortunately, it will increase your risk for regrowth, and you're going to be sitting here again in a couple months. Yeah. Well, if you think okay. you can get it, like, taken care of, then sure. Well, I mean, it's, a, I'll give you an excuse, and um, you call your supervisor and say, hey, they'll I had probably, a... They'll probably want to send, like, a, mm -hmm. FMLA papers to you, just okay. for one day. Okay. You have to fill out. Whatever they got will fill out. All right. Now let's check it again and that's why I check this a lot of times before we you know go straight in to make sure anything at all no. wonderful so pressure's okay no pain would you like to watch probably not yeah, okay you were peeking over the gauze I thought well I I'm think that's maybe why I was like okay it's, it should be hurting but it's, it's not like, right okay I saw the look on your face okay so let's take a look so we can see and you said it was October 29th correct yes. yeah so, guys, when you come in to have your ingrown toenails removed, please go home that day. As you can see, what can happen. So, I'll give you a nice straight edge here. Um, also, one of the things we're going to want to monitor on your uh, toenail is to make sure you don't get a uh, fungus in it. Mm -hmm. Having ingrown toenails back to back, some trauma to it, unfortunately will increase your risk of getting a fungal infection. The good news is, is it's completely out. Let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so there's the, the root and the wing of the nail. We know when you see that glistening piece, you got the whole thing. Let's do a little inspection of the toenail. Yeah, the good news is this is within the nail plate the soft tissue underneath where that darkened uh, color was is completely healthy. So this will grow out. I don't need to remove the whole toenail. I'm happy to report. Let's go ahead and get our medicine on so it doesn't come back. Do you have any questions for me? Okay, I know this is your second time around. Yeah, so send over the paperwork. Um, so you should not have as much drainage as you experienced awesome. at all. Of course, today you're gonna get more than, you know, tomorrow, next day. You may see a little dark discoloration from the chemical mm -hmm. on the nail plate itself, but that will grow out. Hard to keep your foot still, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, I get a hold of it. <laughs> Everyone's always like, I'm afraid I'm going to kick you. But if you think about it, it kind of be impossible, <laughs> you know? And I was telling them, well, if you kick me, I'll kick you back. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I've only been kicked once. And it was from an unconscious patient coming out of surgery. I'll never forget it. Right upside the face. Yeah, it was a good one. 
I mean, every resident has to get one. Maybe there's not the ninja in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he was <laughs> dreaming of that. All right, everybody. Well, I think we're off to a good start, and we should have a much better outcome. And a little education is a long way. So no, and don't have it done the same day you're working, um, if at all possible. Go ahead. She's um, gonna wrap it up for me. Um, so please give us, give us a call if you have any questions, concerns, you have any grown toenail, or even a black spot. I mean, that was really why the purpose of this video is to kind of educate people on melanomas and the potential damage and harm that can come with that and really to kind of inspect this one a little further. So again, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.